Welcome to the Thoughtsmanship Broadcast. This is Laura Evans, and I am one of your hosts. Today will be an introduction to each of your four show hosts, what you will learn here on the podcast, and why it would be a good idea to keep coming back. Each week on this show, we will feature interviews and stories celebrating Dr. Shackley's philosophy of living in harmony with nature and the power of our thoughts. This philosophy found me. I wasn't really looking for it. In fact, I didn't know what I was looking for. Today, 14 years later, I am so very thankful that someone cared enough about us and our daughter, who was really sick at the time, to recommend some small changes which would significantly improve her health, and it turned out to improve our overall health as well. And ultimately, it shaped our future. I'm an entrepreneur, a thought leader, a dream weaver, I help others improve the quality of their life. I discovered this passion after nearly 30 years working as an executive in corporate America from some major brands you might know, such as J. Crew, the Walt Disney Company, Excel Telecommunications, and even the Shackley Corporation. My husband and I have a blended family of four children. Mostly are grown up now. Uh, We were just promoted to grandparents, and we are almost empty nesters as our youngest is entering high school this year. Four years ago, I left my corporate career to pursue a business of our very own. Today, we have a business exceeding over five million in revenue annually. We live where we want to live, which for us is a small island in Charleston, South Carolina. And I'm excited to be able to bring this concept to you. My favorite principle from Thoughtsmanship, the book written by Dr. Forrest C. Shackley in 1951, It's about choosing to live a life of happiness and of love. And the principle that I like the most reads, happiness is an attribute of love. Therefore, you can never be happy until you give your love to others. Let your emotion of love gladden the heart of someone and see an ample supply of happiness is reflected on you. A selfish person may depend on the gaining of possessions to bring them happiness but they soon find that such possessions reflect only their own selfish thoughts. Sow the seeds of happiness in others, and you will reap a joyful harvest. Did you catch that? Happiness is an attribute of love. It's an inherent part. If we want more happiness in our lives, then loving more is how we'll get it. Where we find love, we find happiness. I know it sounds so simple, And many things actually are that simple until we overcomplicate them. What if each day we looked for who and how I could show love today? The world would change. We would change. We would change the world. And with that, let's meet your next host. Hi, I'm Tiff Vinn. I'm serving you as a 26-year-old college student, passionate about bringing gaps between parents and their kids. I was introduced and heavily persuaded into joining this company by my mom, Mary Vinn, but eventually I had to make the choice all on my own to invest wholeheartedly into Shackley. That point wasn't one single word, story, or moment. It was a series of moments that showed me how Dr. Shackley's work in philosophy laid the groundwork for what would be an emerging transformation in America and across the world. This transformation is the idea of re-implementing nature, prevention, and thoughtsmanship. I thought when you got old, you got sick. When your parents fight, it's because of someone did some one wrong thing. When you're tired, it's just a way of life. I thought there were only a few kinds of people. Among them are people who cared about the world and people who couldn't care less. People were too busy living day to day. Think about planting trees. America's healthcare system, or even global poverty. The tiredness is where I saw disparity, depression, and disconnection between families. Going to college, blindly taking in debt, and getting a job as we saw it was not the linear path to success, and we're shocked. But as I started to see the world from Dr. Shackley's view, I realized that when people were healthy, they were happy. Where connection was lost between generations, there was a spark of energy, a hint of joy, a hope for a quality life that brought my family closer together. When families were brought closer together, they seemed to gain capacity in order to transform their lives. And then they helped transform their neighbors' lives, and their neighbors' lives, and their neighbors' lives. 
And guess what? An income bonus was added to each neighbor they transformed. And here I saw, along with Roger Barnett's vision for becoming the biggest force for positive change in the world, a way to make an impact at scale. That's why I continue to choose Shackley every single day. And as Dr. Shackley says, it's not about the dollars and cents. It's about service to humanity. So hello, everyone. Thank you, Tiff. And I'm Bob Ferguson. And it's great to be here with everyone. This is an exciting new beginning, participating in this broadcast with a focus on Dr. Flora Shackley's thoughtsmanship, the very foundation of our company's success, and in my view, a remarkable distillation of spirituality, philosophy, performance psychology, and quite a bit more. Our journey with our business started in 1970 with my mother trying Shackley's flagship cleaning product, Basic H, that she fell in love with. She went to some meetings to get more information, tried some nutritional products that helped her through some very difficult chronic health challenges, and finally put two and two together and decided to build an income by sharing products that she was passionate about. And here we are almost 50 years later. I took an early interest in finding out what made, what made me and the world tick, discovering transcendental meditation at age 19, becoming a teacher at 22, and innovating a running ATM program in a maximum security prison at the age of 26 for the Massachusetts Department of Mental Health. All that taught me a lot about how and why we human beings do what we do and get the results that we get. So when out of financial necessity, I investigated the business my mother had built for the prior seven years. I was surprised, to say the least. I knew my mom's health had improved dramatically. And after two years of resistance, with me telling my mom I didn't need vitamins, I also knew how much benefit I had received when I started using the products. What I didn't know was that my mother was making more income at that time in 1977 from her home business and my father had earned as the head of the math department at a large Boston area high school at the time of his untimely death several years earlier. What I was also not prepared to encounter was the profound philosophical underpinnings of success that Dr. Shackley had bestowed on the company and all of us involved with it because of his deep study of human nature, the relationship of man and nature, and how human beings grow in happiness or wallow in misery, feel blocked and frustrated, or through whatever ups and downs experience one success after another in their lives. When I first read Reflections on a Philosophy, particularly given my background and interests, I was amazed at how simple but utterly profound the basic tenets were, and how consistent they were with my experience of how life and human behavior worked and what I'd learned from my own study and thought. So it's really going to be great to do this broadcast with such a talented group of colleagues and friends and all the people who are going to be joining us as listeners. I'll finish my little part here with one of my favorite concepts from Reflections on a Philosophy, and that is the automatic and virtually mechanically ensured expression of clear and focused thought patterns in the physical world. Here's how Dr. Shackley expressed it. Prepare your thought pattern carefully. Use good judgment in its preparation. Then hold to those thoughts. Think things through. Build a complete thought pattern. Your inner consciousness must be convinced that you are determined. Once you've changed your manner of thinking from wishful or idle thinking to earnest, conscientious, creative thinking, your inner consciousness will be fully aware of your determination. The expression of those thoughts in the physical world is assured. So audience and fellow co-hosts, I'm really excited to see what will emerge as we share on this podcast in the coming months. Hi, my name is Laura Beck, and I've been an independent distributor with Shackley for 15 years. The Shackley products were in my home growing up, but I didn't understand their power or really appreciate the products until they helped restore my health in my late 20s, as well as the health of both of my baby girls. I was told by doctors that I would be in a wheelchair by the time I was 40. And 15 years later, I'm happy to say I'm in my 40s and healthier today than I have been since childhood with two very healthy and thriving teenage daughters. With a bachelor's in nursing and a desire to help others achieve the same kind of health that I now enjoy, 
I quickly grew a business with an income that allowed me to stay home and raise my daughters as a single mom. Today, I'm not only passionate about helping others to physical and financial health, but also teaching and helping others to understand the power of our thoughts and how thoughtsmanship is the very foundation of every success and failure that we experience in life. I have used thoughtsmanship every day of my life. We all do. But I didn't know this until I started studying Dr. Shackley's Reflections of a Philosophy. We are so incredibly privileged that Dr. Shackley understood that nature and thoughtsmanship have the ability to heal, and that he wanted to share this with the world by teaching some who will teach others. It is my mission and passion as Shackley continues to grow from the number one nutrition company in the U.S. to the number one wellness brand in the world that Dr. Shackley and his thoughtsmanship principles are passed on as they will help anyone to be successful in whatever they endeavor to do. I'm very excited about being a part of this podcast team that will help people to know who Dr. Shackley was, as well as the philosophies that are the cornerstone and DNA of the Shackley Company, through the many stories of the Shackley people. And we have many exciting, inspiring stories ahead of us. Dr. Shackley was a man of great innovation, a man ahead of his time, a man of integrity, and a man with a great vision. I will close with some words from Dr. Shackley found in the preface of his book, Thoughtsmanship. Go ahead, dream your dreams and build castles in the sky, but be sure to advance confidently toward their realization. Your thought pattern will assure such advancement. Success is not money, although it may include it, Success is not business activity, although it may encompass it. As surely as a straight line is the shortest distance between two points, so is thoughtsmanship the most direct course to success. For what you think, you look. What you think, you do. What you think, you are. Thoughtfully yours. Dr. Forrest C. Shackley. Thank you, Laura. Well, thank you for listening. Each one of us will invite a special guest to join us to share their story of how Dr. Shackley's philosophy of living in harmony with nature and the power of thought has improved their life. We invite you to take this journey with us. Be the first to know of new episodes by subscribing to this podcast channel. Use the share feature to share right now what you've heard with a friend. Share it on social media. Invite others to tune in. Make a review so that others can find it easily. And thank you. We look forward to being with you again soon.